starting with not good news. A recent study says that obesity is on the rise here in Arkansas. And today we have Dr. Viegas here to shed some light on this epidemic and maybe why it's happening here in Arkansas. Good to have you back. Well, nice to be By here. By the way, yeah. Uh, let's talk about, I think a lot of people know, of course, overweight and then obese. What's the difference? When do we know we're kind of going to the obesity stage? Well, obesity is the next step up from being overweight. Mm -hmm. Now, both being overweight and obesity are both determined uh, by something called the body mass index, okay. or BMI. Now, the body mass, the mass index is a ratio of your weight to your height. So the more you weigh or the less tall you are, the higher your BMI. Mm -hmm. And a normal BMI is usually between... 18 to 25, uh, overweight BMI is between 25 to 30, and obesity is above 30. And there's something called severe obesity as well, which is above 40. Okay, and there's kind of a formula mm -hmm. for, for figuring that. You can find that usually on the internet, or your doctor can help oh, yeah, you with that yeah, as well. Yes, it, yes. it depends on your mm -hmm. height and your weight. But uh, so let's talk about the causes then, because we want to stay in that normal range there. So what are the causes you see as a doctor? So. Although some medical conditions can cause obesity, usually obesity is not caused by a medical condition. In fact, the most common cause of obesity is, everyone knows this, increased calorie intake. So over time, these increased calories are stored in the form of fat. Now, this goes back to um, the time before civilization. So before civilization, we as humans uh, did not have a grocery store to get food from. So, so we had to either forage for food or hunt for food. So this meant that there would be many days where we wouldn't get to eat because we couldn't find any food or if, or if, the, hunt, if, or if the hunt was unsuccessful. So we have developed a really good mechanism for storing energy and calories for a rainy day. So during times of feast, we tend to eat a little bit more, and we tend to store these extra calories in the form of fat uh, for a far, um, period of, of famine. Right. But because we live in a society where we have access to food 24-7, this mechanism which used to help us is now getting out of control mm -hmm. and so is we're, causing obesity. We're like genetically mm -hmm. disposed to overeat when there's food, but yes, yeah, right. but we that's shouldn't right. do that's that right. because mm -hmm. we can get it every day, yeah, unlike right. uh, mm -hmm. our forefathers perhaps. Okay, then, uh, so obviously overeating, there's some genetics and other things that can cause obesity too. Sure. Uh, there are um, some risk factors for obesity, and uh, family history is a risk factor factor because a part of obesity is genetic. Um, so it does tend to run in families. Okay. Um, also physical inactivity. Uh, we, we all do not get enough exercise, uh, myself included. And um, this extra, these extra calories which would have been spent in physical activity also get stored in the form of fat. Uh, medications can also cause weight gain, especially taking steroids for a long period of time. And land problems such as low thyroid levels known as hypothyroidism and Cushing's disease. Okay, time getting a little short here, but mm -hmm. let's just talk about what we can do, of course. Cut our calorie intake is number sure, one, I guess. Sure, uh, There are many methods used to treat obesity, and it's done in a stepwise fashion. Mm -hmm. So uh, we start with a comprehensive lifestyle program consisting of diet and exercise. And the diet restricts our calorie intake while the exercise increases calorie expenditure, and this, re this results in a net loss of calories, and this net loss comes from the fat you burn. Right. Okay. Yeah. Now, if this is not enough, we do have medications out there uh, that can cause weight loss. Uh, and, and for some patients, um, I, I do that. Uh, but these medication, medications are never used alone, okay? They're always used in conjunction with diet and exercise. Exactly. Now, if these two top things do not work, then there's always surgery. And this is mainly for the people who, are, who have severe obesity. Um, and you've probably heard of gastric banding sure. or other procedures where they make the stomach smaller so it'll hold less food. We've talked about mm -hmm. that on the show quite a bit. Well, let's put mm -hmm. up the information, of course, about uh, mm -hmm. Dr. Viegas, and uh, where you can go for more information if you need help, if you need a, a lifestyle change, they can help you do that because that's really what it's all about there at CHI St. Vincent Medical Clinic uh, in the Midtown area. Thank you, doctor. Thank we you. appreciate it. Some good things Thank for us to remember as the holiday mm -hmm. season continues. All right, back in just a moment.